other thing I would like us to consider when you are requiring your employee to either get vaccinated or submit bi-weekly negative PCR results who is going to be responsible for the adverse effects that's my biggest question who is liable we already know that most governments and the WHO has given immunity to these drug manufacturers from any liability for adverse effects that's why the vaccines have been approved as for emergency use so that yes the general population will only experience mild effects from the vaccine but we all know that for all the vaccines there's a small percentage of people who have adverse effects but the manufacturers are immune from prosecution that was part of their deal for this emergency rollout so when the employer now steps up and tells you that either take that vaccine or submit to regular PCR tests what they are doing is creating a financial hardship on the employee as a way of unduly influencing the employee to go to vaccination because the reality is a vaccination is free but taking these regular PCR tests requires you to pay so naturally after a while you're going to run out of money or patients are tired of having something stuck up your nose so you're going to get vaccinated which means your reason for vaccination wasn't autonomy it wasn't pro-choice it was because you decided to do so but because the employer now made you choose between taking regular pcr tests or being vaccinated to keep your job so you go and take this vaccine and who is going to be liable for your adverse effects and that is unfair because I don't see these employers stepping up and saying my insurance policy will be triggered and I will cover any adverse effects you have. I did not see in this memo that was sent out to the employees that they would cover sick days, that they would cover medical expenses if something goes wrong. So when you are trying to intrude upon a person's right to have autonomy over their body, who is going to be liable for adverse effects to them? And I am reminded of an article I read this week in the New York Times where two people are discussing some neurological issues they had from taking the provider shot which is not available here but what's important is they were both saying how alone they felt and I'm quoting from what one of the readers said they said what chafes me is that we keep telling folks that the risk of injury is very small and that it is each person's civic responsibility to take the risk for the common good those statistical possibilities represent real people who when seriously harmed are somehow not the responsibility of the very collective we took the risk for. We are ignored, suffering and left advocating for ourselves in the midst of crisis. How difficult is it to make the drug manufacturers who are making phenomenal profits set aside a fund for the care of those of us who are injured? So I ask again, when employers are forcing employees to either get vaccinated or submit to regular PCR test, which is a financial burden, who is going to be liable for the adverse effects?